Hello, Dagmar here. So, this evening, while I'm freezing my ass off, we are going to make some wild cod cod ceviche. Um, ceviche is basically a very pleasant way to eat raw fish. I am in a phase of my life where I am only eating raw protein, raw fat, raw fruits, and a little bit of vegetables once in a while. And I guess this is the main vegetable that I have, which is um, I juice some celery with a little bit of parsley and some cilantro to help detoxify heavy metals. And I made my own coconut cream and I put that in there so it kind of smooths it out and um, slows down the absorption of the uh, the few sugars that are in this and it makes it more pleasant i look forward to it it's a lovely evening drink mm. really good um i don't like to eat too much in the evening so i keep it make it like a liquid evening or sometimes i have my um favorite slightly warm drink also all raw with raw butter and um, some adaptogenic mushrooms like chaga and reishi and maybe i should do a video of my favorite drink it basically tastes like coffee and i put a little bit of msm in it and um what else oh humic minerals so i don't do anything every day but i do go through phases you know where and i hope that you do the same but i'm just trying to inspire you with possible ideas of how you can nourish yourself in as vibrant a way as possible so raw fish i'm going to soak it in lemon i like to save i don't i'm not going to use a cutting board because why make extra dishes so <laughs> here is the fish and i am simply going to see if I can get a better view here there we go I'm simply going to cut it into elegant thin pieces because I still haven't developed I'm working on it developed a taste for that it's the texture of completely raw that I'm trying to get myself accustomed to you know that kind of raw meat the only thing that i can do it with is with raw beef um because i eat that with just a little bit of raw butter and raw honey <laughs> and the beef has a texture that somehow i don't mind but i do um i do uh grind uh, not grind what do you call it um i i <laughs> what is it there must be a word again english is not my first language um well i actually put it you know pieces of beef in my cuisinart or in my vitamix and i just mush it so that it's like a pate i guess that's what i do so it's sort of like um steak tartare a little mushier um so I soak the cod and always get fresh caught uh, fish when you're making ceviche. Never use frozen fish that's been frozen before because it'll just, when you soak it in lemon, it just gets this kind of hard rubbery. So when, it, when it's fresh, the lemon cooks it beautifully. And really you can only soak this for 40 minutes um, but I like to soak it for two days <laughs> because I am still a wimp when it comes to eating raw but uh, wimp or not wimp you know I do whatever I need to do so that I do eat it um, and this is a very satisfying meal especially if you prepare it the right way 
So part two, I will do, um, you can see I'm, <laughs> who's calling in the middle? Get, get, come on. Right, let's see who it is, if it's anybody interesting. Uh, 828, oh yeah, this is an interesting person, but, um, but I'm not going to stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call them back because that's what we have um, message machines for. Um, oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to an interesting conversation. You know, I, I'm so uh, starved for human exchange these days. I've had so little of it in the last two years. Um, so I will make that call as soon as this is finished so basically what i was saying is that um you want to always use fresh fish to make ceviche and i make enough usually for two or three two or three days this is a very small portion normally i do at least a pound and a half this is just maybe a third of a pound so now it's all cut up I put it into a jar and I can now lift the camera so that you don't just yeah there um, I put it into a jar and then I take a little sieve and I grab a nice fresh lime or lemon actually lemon is better um, lime has very antibacterial properties and in a way you want some of the good bacteria to grow lemon has more sugar in it so I always before I cut the lemon I roll it like this especially if it's not fully ripened and that makes it easier to squeeze and of course I'm using my ceramic knife because it is much closer especially when when you're eating raw when you're cooking it doesn't matter but when you're eating raw it is closer to the actual tooth because uh, when you put metal on food it changes the spin of the electron and you lose some of the uh, negative charge the, the 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 parts that you want the living parts of the food so I use this ceramic knife, which is the closest thing. It would be as if I was like using my teeth to break down the fish, but I'm not doing that because it's gross. <laughs> so now I squeeze the lemon into this. And you know, everything you do in the kitchen is a great excuse for movement or exercise. Um, so I try to do everything with my hands, not use any instruments except for the knife is my main, main instrument. So you see, I'm just giving my fingers an, a lovely workout. And for the same reason, I always put everything that I use a lot, I put it high so that, um, every day I have to reach up and I alternate with hands. So it's just anything that I can do to get myself to move the way we would move if we were natural human beings. <laughs> but we're so far from it, just the way our houses are designed and our lifestyles are so far from being natural human beings. Um, so I try to find as many ways for me to move and stretch in my daily in my daily routine. Um, I don't shrink away from any kind of physical labor or if I vacuum or sweep, I alternate hands. <laughs> so I give both sides a chance. And then in between throughout the day, I, I uh, thanks to um, Tommy John, uh, who is a oh the camera stopped working that's a bummer anyway thanks to 
Tommy John, who has uh, shared with me the transmission of what it means to be a physical being and how important it is to engage our whole body in uh, our everyday lives because basically we just stiffen up and lose our capacity for movement which is why when we get older we get that hunched look I have a feeling that this is not recording but we'll see <laughs> I can't tell so um, okay so basically you just want to cover cover as much of this as you can and I think I'm pretty close yep and then I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and in um, two days I'll take it out and I'll continue making the rest of this video so you will see what I'll put into this ceviche. I think I'm going to put like mango, red pepper, a dash of onion, and some cilantro. Yeah. Okay, so this is part one. I'll see you at part two. Bye.